Hello, Mikrotik is a company that develops Linux-based router and switch operating systems, including the hardware to run it on. What is nice about the router software is that you can run it on your own equipment, just like PFSense and the like. In this video I will go over how to get the Mikrotik router OS up and running in Proxmox. Start with opening a new tab and typing in mikrotik.com in the address field. On this site you can click on software in the upper right corner. Here you can see all their files you can download. Mikrotik does have ready-to-use virtual machines under cloud-hosted router, but I want to use the ISO file to install it myself. Under router OS v7, scroll down to x86 and click the left floppy disk icon. When the download is complete, head back to upload the ISO file in Proxmox. This can be done by clicking your local drive followed by ISO images, then upload. In the upload window, click the select file button to open a file browser. Find and mark the Mikrotik ISO before clicking open, then upload. You can now create the VM by clicking create VM. Give your VM a name, then add the Mikrotik ISO. System is good at default. The amount of resources you should allocate depends on what you wish to use it for. 8GB is more than enough. 2 cores is ok. And one thing to note is the CPU type. I like to set it as host, to avoid issues that some operating systems have with virtual processors. The default 2GB of RAM is enough. But I will check advanced and enable ballooning with a minimum of 512MB. If you have already created the network interfaces you are going to use, you can add one here. Or check the no network box to create it later. Finish up the VM creator and navigate to your Proxmox node, then network. I have two physical network interfaces that I plan on use with this router. They can easily be double clicked, so you can copy the name which is needed in the step of creating a Linux bridge. Close that window and click create followed by Linux Bridge in the drop-down menu. Add the name of the physical port in the field next to Bridge Ports. You can also add a comment. This can be useful to know what you're using the interface for. When you're done, click Create and repeat for however many interfaces you wish to create. When you are done creating interfaces, click Apply Configuration, followed by Yes. Now, navigate to your Mikrotik VM and click Hardware in the menu to the right. Click Add, followed by Network Device. I will be adding the WAN interface first by selecting VMBR1 and clicking Add. And then repeat the process for the LAN interface. Losing control of which one is which can generate a lot of confusion. But with that done, it is time to start the VM. Click Start and open up a console window to the VM. After a short time, you will get a warning that everything on the disk will be erased. Press Y to install Router OS on the disk. The installation does not take a long time. Press the Enter key when prompted to reboot. When the VM is up and running again, you can log in with the default username which is admin. There is no password. Then press N unless you wish to see the software license. And then the Enter key. Create a password for your router, and enter it twice. There's a few commands you will need to enter in order to get your router up and running so you can enter the web UI. I will add all of them in the video description. Using the tab key can help you complete the commands faster. To create the LAN interface, enter interface slash bridge slash add space name equals LAN. Then interface slash bridge slash port space add space interface equal ether to bridge equals lan ether to because it's the second interface i added in proxmox now ip space address slash add space address equals 192.168.150.1/24 space 
interface equals LAN. The IP address and bitmask can of course be whatever you want. Now to set up the DHCP server. Type in IP space DHCP dash server space setup. Type in the name of the interface you wish the DHCP server to run on. In my case, this is LAN. DHCP address space and gateway can remain as default unless you wish to change it. When it comes to addresses to hand out, I like to have a block of addresses at the start and the end which is not dealt out, but this is up to personal preference. Then finally, DNS server. I'll add 1.0.0.1, which is Cloudflare. Before exiting the console, there are two more commands to add. The first is IP space DHCP dash client slash add space disabled equals no space interface equals ether1. This enables your one interface. And then IP space firewall space NAT slash add space chain equals SRC NAT space action equals M-A-S-Q-U-E-R-A-D-E which is needed to make your WAN interface work properly. And there you have it. You can now either connect to the physical interface with a machine or add the virtual interface to another VM, which is what I will do. To make the connection change, you will have to check disconnected to make the VM drop the old IP address. If everything worked, you should get an IP address from the Mikrotik router. Open a web browser and type in the IP address of your Mikrotik router in the address field. To log in, enter admin as the username, and the password is what you created during the setup process. Once inside, you should be able to see some general information, like the IP address you have on your WAN interface, and a few other things. And that is all I will be covering in this video. I hope it was of some use. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.